being at uh, University of Michigan. I think uh, there's things afforded here being exposure to like the Huron Valley PACE program where we care for older adults that we're trying to keep out of, uh, you know, a nursing home setting and keep them in the community. Um, and it's a very collaborative environment. Uh, being able to go to the Chelsea Retirement or Center where there's long-term care, there's memory care, uh, there's a nursing home where you can do consult consults on older adults with psychiatric issues, whether that be purely psychiatric or stem from neuropsychiatric uh, symptoms from dementia. Other things, having two longitudinal geropsychiatry uh, clinics, one at the VA and then one through the university. The university one being very intimate with coaching, mentorship, hands-on learning. The one at the VA giving you a little more autonomy to practice in a way where you don't have someone supervising you with every single patient and getting a feel and developing that comfort level over the year. I can say from the beginning of the year to now, I, I feel completely different in my confidence level and kind of sureness of footing <laughs> of, of how I practice, especially. And I feel like that was a highlight of my VA experience was being able to reflect on that and see the changes that have happened over the last year. Being able to rotate in palliative medicine, working with older adults that are nearing the terminal stages of their illness and of their life, and being more comfortable with um, palliative dosing of certain medications, including antipsychotics, benzodiazepines, especially pain medications. Doing consults in the hospital for delirium and dementia with a geriatric medicine team. Rotating a couple months with our cognitive and movement disorders specialists from neurology and getting really adept and comfortable with movement disorders exams, whether it be Parkinson's disease, essential tremors, you know, chorea, tardive type movements. And of course, doing a couple months with Sue Maxner's uh, very uh, <laughs> amazing husband, Dan Maxner, uh, with the ECT service, getting certified um, over a two month period and seeing honestly in, in in total like hundreds and hundreds of ect patients um, and in addition to doing evaluations mm -hmm.